oh, I'm going to show them this, bro. Like, real talk. Like, can you elaborate on what a benevolent dictatorship is, bro? Again, for these ladies, so I can show them, bro. So the idea behind a benevolent dictatorship, and I think that women to a larger extent, let me turn this down. I don't know if this is too loud. Is this too loud? No, nah, you good, bro. You good. Um, the idea behind a benevolent dictatorship um, is, okay, think about it like this. A lot of, a lot of people in, t- in society today, a lot of women in society today have benefited from the idea that they have more freedom than they ever had. 50, 60, 70 years ago, right? They got the power to vote. They got the power to get whatever job that they want. They have the power to do whatever they want to do, whatever their hearts desire as they see fit, right? But the idea behind a benevolent dictatorship, it really more or less feeds into exactly what it is that they say every single day that they desire from men, right? And what they desire from men is strong men. Now, what you see today and to a larger extent is a lot of weaker men um, having a bigger voice. And so what they say that they want women specifically and what they really want is two different things, because like, for example, they'll say, I want a man that pays attention to me, does all of the good things, be up under me, whatever, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Right. But then at the same time, what they really desire is a man's man, you know, because when everything hit the fan, see, all of that is cute when everything is going well. All of that is cute, nice and all of that and pretty when the economy is good and everything is going well and all of that. It ain't no pandemic and all of that. Right. But when it hit the fan and the recession hit, because let's be clear, we haven't seen the last the last thing that happens is everything is cyclical. Right. You had the the boom bust in the late 80s and in the early 90s and in a dot com crash and in a 2008 recession and in a 2020 pandemic, it's always going to be something. Everything is cyclical, right? And so the thing about it is that when it hits the fan, you want a man to step up. You want him to, to be the man. You want him to take care of business. Because let's be clear, if we start losing our house, they're not going to go to her or go to Rita and say, hey, what the piss is going on? They coming to me. Right. And so realistically, what women want and what it is that they're looking to experience is two different things. I enable my wife and it doesn't mean that she doesn't have say so. It doesn't mean that she can't make decisions. It doesn't mean that she don't go out and do whatever it is that she want to do. She don't sit here and call me every single day with a decision. But at the same time, the buck stops with me because ultimately I am the one that have to bear the responsibility and shoulder what it takes in order to really be the man of my family. And so when I say benevolent dictatorship, you have to lean on the word benevolent, meaning that I do it for other people. Listen, leadership, and you better show them this part. Leadership means that you're a servant first. It means that you put the needs of every single person ahead of yourself. I am the person that eats last. I'm the la- I'm the first person up. I'm the last person to sleep every night. I overwork. I'm always the one that checks to make sure everything is safe. And then after I walk through and possibly put myself in harm's way, I make sure that everybody is safe. And then I make sure that the door gets shut behind me. Leadership, head of your household, it's a servant's role. Even when it comes to entrepreneurship, when it comes to building businesses, when it comes to executive leadership, there the buck stops with the person at the top they don't complain when a company goes out of business and say well it's the workers fault they always look to the leadership and the person at the top of the food chain and say hey we gonna hold you responsible i'm willing to bear that responsibility but then i am also the last person that you look to or the last person to eat every single person comes before me first i pour into everybody first the benevolent aspect of it means that i'm nice It means that I'm not a dictator that rules with an iron fist and that you don't say nothing. You shut the piss up. I'm going to choke you if you if you get out of line. No, that's not what it is. It means that I take you into consideration. I value your opinion. Right. 
I'm also always focused on what it is that your needs are in order to empower you to be the best version of yourself because the best version of you is the best version of us. It's pouring into people. It's the worst, worst possible position that you can be in considering that we are the ones that are the least appreciated but the ones that bear the, the most responsibility. So when they talking about real men, when they look at throwback men, those were benevolent dictatorships. These men shouldered the responsibility, they went to work, they did the things that they didn't want to do when they didn't want to do it in order to in, in, ensure that their families was taken care of. They put their life on the line, they was willing to die for you, they fought for their country, they did all of the things in order to em empower you to be to be successful, but they never got any appreciation of it, and they never wanted it. They just understood what real men did. That's what I am. I'm a throwback man. This is a benevolent dictatorship. My chick don't want to be a modern woman. She's not looking for a partnership. She's looking to be covered. She's looking to be taken care of. She's looking to be absolutely sheltered and always being empowered to do the thing that's best for her. And she looks to me for insight and leadership. That's what a benevolent dictatorship is. Because let's be clear, if this is a partnership, that means you share in the responsibilities. You bring in your 50% and we're going to have to depend on that in order to make sure that our bills is paid. No, you don't want that. You want to do what you want to do and have the option to contribute. You don't want to be required. It's a difference. And so, you know, they might get mad at the words, but let's be clear. Every woman want this. All of them. Every last one of them.